Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use roles with Ansible playbooks. Roles allow us to break playbooks into reusable chunks. This video is part of a series. It will make a lot more sense if you watch the playlist in order. We make sure we're in our working directory. We create a roles directory with a separate subdirectory for each role. Under that subdirectory, we create a tasks directory. The base role will be for tasks that are applied to all our servers. The app servers role will be for tasks that are applied to application servers. The app servers role will include a file, so we also have a file subdirectory. The database role will be for tasks that are applied to all our database servers. We'll quickly cover the files that make up the roles, but they are repeats of the tasks we've seen in earlier videos. The main.yaml file in the base role contains tasks to update all the packages on the hosts and reboot if there have been package changes. Notice we purposely don't reboot the Ansible control host. The main.yaml file is just a list of tasks. There is no play definition, so there's no indentation of the tasks. The main.yaml file for the app server's role contains tasks to install and configure Nginx, tasks to configure the local firewall, and a task to copy the default page into place. The default page is placed in the files directory under the role. The main.yaml file for the database's role contains tasks to create the groups and user. With the roles in place, we can create a playbook in our working directory. The site.yaml playbook contains three plays. The first play applies the base role to all hosts. The second play applies the app server's role to all hosts in the app server's group. The third play applies the database's role to all hosts in the database's group. We run the playbook and we can see the output for the three plays in order. The base role applied to all servers. The app servers role applied to all application servers. The database role applied to all database servers. It makes sense to document your roles, so we create a readme.md file in each role directory with some text to explain what it's for. Be as detailed as you can. So rather than producing a monolithic playbook, Ansible roles allow us to break things down into manageable sections. You might have different teams working on different roles, depending on the content and skills needed to perform those actions. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.